Hey, good afternoon everyone and I know you must be sick of my um, videos about religion by now, but uh, oh well. <laughs> so the reason I'm making this video is uh, because of Christian prosel proselytizing. And uh, the reason I am doing this is because it's quite annoying. <sighs> First, you have the racist black Hebrew Israelites, and then you have the missionaries and all those Christians that think that someone who doesn't believe in Jesus is damned to go to hell and whatever nonsense they claim. And Oh my gosh, it's not enough that my mother has taken upon, upon her, now that she knows that I believe in God, to, to really convert me Catholicism and her <sighs> worshipping of a dad Jew and the worshipping of um, some apparition or whatever. Uh, I have Mormons. <laughs> yes, you heard it. Mormons. I even have the Book of Mormon. They insisted that I take it. Although this may be good because uh, I don't know any any Jews and uh, I'd love to revive the Jewish community in my city and they gave me the precious information that there is at least one Jewish family here and they... this is so amazing. Like, I talked to her and she says, oh, you're Jewish, but you're quite polite and whatever. Uh, you know, I told her that I, them, it was two girls, that I was converting to Judaism. And they said, oh, because last year we talked to, uh, and he was in this city, which is the most exciting party part, was so rude. He just... <laughs> Uh, so basically, um, they went there and they, they talked to him and uh, they basically uh, tried to convert him to, to their um, Mormon cult. And um, they went there, oh, we're here about... And he said, I'm Jewish, I'm not interested. And he slammed the door their faces they went back there later when his wife was there and she she was more amiable they talked to her and uh i think uh something like that so it could be something to hold on to to get information about other jews in the city because they have a network but still it's still a uh, Oh, hey, who the hell believes that, um, <laughs> okay, I, I can't take it seriously because it's like, it's hard enough to believe uh, that Jesus was the Messiah. Now they want people to believe that Jesus was in the American continent. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, um... The thing I'm annoyed with is, and this is something that is especially frustrating to me because I've dealt with that all of my childhood, is the fact that missionaries equate not believing in Jesus to not believing in God. And um, this is probably one of the reasons why I became agnostic atheist for so long was because my mom, whenever I denied Jesus, she would say, oh, you don't believe in God and whatever, whatever, and you're blaspheming, whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, I see this tactic a lot with um, Christians. I think that's probably why there are so many atheists. It's because if you question a single point in their doctrine, they'll immediately accuse you of not believing in God. And, of course, when you're young, you try to, well, maybe there isn't such a thing as a God, and maybe 
they're onto something. Maybe I'm really an atheist. Or maybe I'm really whatever they call me. And uh, yeah. So, <laughs> flash forward to nowadays. Um, we're neuroagnostic atheists. No one tries to. It's like they try to convert you, but they know that they 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 that you're unmovable. And it's like now I've been talking to not only in real life but also online because I, I like to to have these debates because I want to be prepared to to face uh, you know my mom and because she's always trying to get me to to worship uh, her saints and her whatever and uh it's um it's quite frustrating and so i have in this these discussion groups on facebook and on twitter and the thing is someone that of them really latch on to jews specifically and try to make them become catholics or christians or protestants or whatever the nonsense they believe in the thing is they accuse you of uh, not having read the scriptures and not knowing the scriptures and of uh, oh your eternal soul is damned if you don't believe that a dead Jew is a messiah um, which is really unfortunate there is no space for dialogue no matter how much you tell them that well the reason I'm converting to Judaism is because actually I read the scriptures and I know that Jesus couldn't be the Messiah. And they they can't fathom anyone with better knowledge of the scriptures than them. And they can't fathom anyone who has different, uh, let's say, mystical experiences than them. So, for instance, one says that he dreamt about God and that God took him to heaven and said, whatever nonsense. And I said, well, that doesn't prove anything. I had my own experience uh, with uh, God and, um, I, you know, uh, first I told him briefly the, the history of the highest point of my conversion and Actually, I do have proof that this uh, actually happened uh, and uh, because it didn't involve me, it involved another person and that other person felt the same thing. So actually, I'm actually going to tell this uh, story because it's, um, again, this doesn't prove to anyone that God exists and that my religious beliefs are right this is anecdotal and it only works for me and i don't expect to convert anyone with my story and my story actually has more proof than the story most of those christians try to use to bring me to their side but regardless i am aware that this is my experience and no matter what i do i can't force anyone to believe in what i believe just because of this experience, no, however much proof I have that this happened, because this is again an adultal and it is my own experience. And you can't expect someone to go into your religion, your cult, or whatever, just because you experience something you deem superior and higher to yourself. This is your own subjective personal experience. And however much proof you have, you can't force anyone else to believe in this. So the person was trying to make me believe that because he had that dream and he started on a mission and started evangelizing people, eventually became a, becoming a whatever, you know, spreading the religion and saying that he inspired lots and lots of people that's just anecdotal. I have my own religious experience, which is as valid or more valid than his own. And uh, I don't know, he can't force me to 
just believe in whatever nonsense. And that's the same thing with my mom. They can't just expect people to be, to follow your beliefs just because you have revelations. Everyone has their own revelations. And um, uh, I don't know. So what happened with me was I, pr I prayed to God. And uh, I started having a lot of uh, clear... Uh, mm, you know, a lot of um, clarity in regards to things. But one day I was, and I, I think I already told this story here. I was in a very bad moment, and I have those moments where I feel like a like I'm a hologram, or I re even doubt my own existence. And uh, at the time, I was already realizing that in reality. I never ceased to believe in God. I just had, you know, it was just a response to my mother's Catholicism, and it was easier to deny religion altogether than just deny um, Christianity, because whenever I said that I believe in God, my mom always said that you can't believe in God if you don't believe in this and this and that. And then it, it just became easier to deny religion altogether. Flash forward to that day, I was in a deep state of apathy. I couldn't feel my body. My body. I couldn't feel my arms. I couldn't feel my, anything. It was just, I was lying on my sheets and I couldn't feel the fabric. So one of those, um, you know, moments where it's weird. And all I felt was like I was floating in empty space. I was cold, really cold. And I was like doubting my existence. And that happened a lot before. And it's like you have the feeling that you're not real. Everything around you is real, but you're not real. You're not really there. You're not. It's really hard to explain. I think it. it Actually, I think I now understand why this happens specifically to me. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's besides the point here. The point is, I was in that state, and I was doubting my own existence, and I was saying, thinking, "Am I real? Am I not real?" And whatever. And um, there's one person, and. Um, that person was driving in the middle of the street of the road i think even in the highway and um remember it's a person in a completely different country uh and uh he had the instinct and, uh, something told him you know just uh, tweet it so just now say this say this and he did it and his tweet was the exact answer to my question and to my prayers and to my to the way I was feeling. At the exact hour, I was in deep, deep pain, in deep, deep suffering. Someone across the world felt, heard something to tell, telling him to just tweet this. Not the exact words, possibly, but this concept. Uh, you know, God exists, existence exists. Isn't that proof enough that God exists or uh, isn't that God enough for you or something like that? And bam, that was the answer I was needing at the time. I realized in reality, I wasn't doubting God, that God existence. The fact that I was doubting my own existence interfered with my ability to connect with God. And um, that was really a powerful moment, but this doesn't prove anything. It's just an experience that I had it, that proves it to me, but I can't use it as proof to anyone else because no one else would understand. And these people try to use their anecdotal proofs that whatever nonsense is, is uh, real. They spoke to angels, they spoke to God, they spoke to whatever. Remember, uh, all religions start 
with one person talking to one angel, whatever. Uh, and there are thousands and thousands of religions. And uh, I hear, you know, you know this is the story of the golden calf, how it started to. There's, however, a single religion that started with a multitude of people being led by God. God didn't reveal himself only to one person. He revealed himself to the entire people. And uh, if you know your scriptures and if you know your history, you should know who that people was. <sighs> anyway, so this is the proof they tried to, wait, to use. And I have my own kind of proof. <laughs> and um, then my lovely mother. And... <laughs> She's quite lovely, and she had a, she did have a quite quite a good try. So she started saying to me, she she keeps on using it as an excuse. I've, you know, I've kind of shown have shown her that Judaism is a true religion, but she keeps on appealing to tradition that we're meant to be Christians, and then she uses one thing as proof that her religion is a right religion because she kept on praying for me to gain my faith back and she says that she always prayed to God and uh, to her saints or whatever that I'd gain my faith back in no matter what religion so long as I had faith. Now <sighs> she claims this is proof that Catholicism is the real religion because uh, I started believing in God again, and I be became religious, even probably more so than she is. Uh, but um, here's a problem. If her God or her saints made me Jewish, then um, doesn't it show that the real religion is Judaism? I mean... You see, the, the things they try to use as proof that their religion is the best one are, have, are so, are, you know, they have so weak arg argument. And uh, I don't know, it's, um, it's so weird. It's, uh, it's weird. And the, the thing that is the most annoying is that they keep on saying, oh, you're going to hell, oh, you're denying God and whatever. This is not productive. Christians, if anything, this is going to turn people away from God. Not to your cult, not to your religion. It's actually going to turn people away from God. As a kid, I had my mom saying, you know, you don't believe in Jesus, then you don't believe in God. And what what did I know better? I didn't know any better. So I said, yeah, maybe I don't. And, oh, screw it. You know, it's... it's um. Your dogmatism is turning people away from God and turning people away from morals and, uh, you know, promoting whatever nonsense you have in politics these days. So, you know what? Um... <laughs> However much you try, I'm not going to cease to be Jewish inclined and converting to Judaism. I mean, do you think I'm converting to Judaism because I don't know the scriptures? Yes, the, the vast majority of Christians that assume that I'm converting to Judaism because I don't know the scriptures and I don't know how to read the Bible properly. But then, when whatever quotes they use of the Bible to prove that Jesus is the Messiah, they are taking it out of context. And I have to educate them to what context those scriptures were taken out of. First and foremost, don't quote the New Testament to me, especially not the Pauline letters. I'm sick and tired of those things. And please understand that. Paul of Tarsus is a reason that I completely, completely turned off, you know, Christianity. Because it doesn't make sense. It is completely, completely against the Old Testament 
or the Torah or whatever you call it in your religion, it is completely against what God taught us. So, no, it's not going to work for me. I do know the scriptures. I do know the Christian scriptures. I do know the, the um, Jewish scriptures. I don't know the Talmud, but I do know the Torah. I know enough to know that Jesus doesn't fulfill any messianic prof pro prophecies. And it's frustrating that they think that I convert to Judaism because of misinformation. All of them seem to claim, oh, you're turning Jewish because a, a rabbi of a rabbi who is lying to you. Rabbis try to turn you away from Judaism. It's like you have no idea how much I've been through trying to get a rabbi to help me in my conversion process. So please, Christians, stop accusing rabbis of, of proselytizing. This is a huge lie. All my information, all my information, I sought it out or got it in friendly interactions with other Jews. But the principle that, that drove me away from Christianity was all on my own. Stop blaming rabbis. Stop blaming Jews for doing what you're doing and what you're trying to do and deceive people into believing in your nonsensical cult or religion or whatever you call it. That's part of my rant. You know, rabbis don't try to convert anyone. If I seek a rabbi and try to get some advice, he will try to deter me from converting and recommend me that I stay in Ojai because being Jewish is hard, needs commitment, and uh, a lot of a lot of things. No rabbi tried to convert me. Even the person who has been helping me the most tried to tell me that I should stay in Ojai, that I... It's my own decision. It's my own decision. Stop blaming a boyfriend. Stop blaming the rabbis from influ for influencing me. This is all of my own. Come on. I, I talked to Jehovah's Witnesses for two years. Two years. Did their Bible studies for two years. And I didn't become a Jehovah's Witness. Why? Because I'm not influenceable. And I have my own mind, and I did my own study, and I know that what they're teaching is a lie. Why did I get, um, you know, attracted to Judaism? Because all the things that Jews were saying, and all the things I read on Chabad, and all the things that I study from Jewish sources are very in line with my beliefs as a child and with my morals and my principles. This comes from me. This is not out of ignorance. I'm a very well read, very educated person and I've read on all major religions and I know my decision <laughs> first. And I, I don't need you to try to save my eternal soul whatever you want to believe in i have my soul and it's my job to save my own soul i don't need redemption by some fake redeemer i am my own person and i have my own values and this is one of the major reasons why i never believe in christianity because it is my job to be a good person it is my job to have my values and no one can save me but myself. <sighs> so please, and if you t tell me too many times that I'm going to hell, well, at least hell as good music, heavy metal or rock and roll. And I don't have to hear your church chore ch uh, music because it, it's bloody annoying. So yes. If hell has heavy metal in there, if hell has all Jews there, if hell has good music there, 
Well, sign me up. Where do I sign up for it? Okay. We're, we're, we have um, uh, discussed this fairly, uh, you know, oh gosh. And I know I'm ranting and this video is not going to the, the people that uh, are trying to do this, but it's like everyone here, it's like you have the atheists, the agnostics, oh, religion is stupid and whatever. And religion kills, and religion does this and that. And I can't really blame them, because I was agnostic atheist myself, and uh, religion is bad in lots of cases, the fake religions. Um, and you have Christians everywhere, and they say that my religion is stupid, whatever, and then they worship a dead Jew, but so... And this is uh, really because in real life, uh, I try to be polite as much as I can. Uh, but um, really, Christians, do please take care of your eternal soul and leave Jews be and leave Jews believing in whatever they want to believe. Because, um, you know, if you are um, driving a Jew away from the Torah, it's the worst thing you can do. It's the worst thing you can do, the worst sin you can do. And, uh, you know, it's uh, bad enough that you are committing idolatry and the worshipping, uh, you know, doing all those things that are even forbidden to Noahites. Driving a Jew away from the Torah is one of the worst things you can do. So please, I don't know, I don't care about what you believe in. Stop trying to proselytize Jews and stop trying to proselytize me. I've made my decision, I'm sticking to it. And no amount of brainwashing is going to drive me away from my goals. I'm driven and I have my own mind. and. Please respect that. Please respect people who decide to step away from your religion. You know, I've dealt with Catholics for 30 years. I've dealt with Jehovah's Witnesses for two years. None of that worked. I'm not influenceable. If Judaism worked with me, it's because it res resonated with me on a deep level and to the bones, to my soul. And trust me, nothing, nothing would have moved me if it wasn't real. And um, if you want change, it has to come from the inside and from you. You may change someone who is unstable, mentally unstable, who doesn't have a strong will, who is easily influenceable, but you're not going to influence me, so stop proselytizing me and um, try to learn something from what I say every now and then, because I say quite smart things and uh, you should learn from me. So goodbye and good afternoon.